Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 2nd of May. We do have a weather system that will be impacting the state over the next 36 hours. But the good news, the chance of any significant severe weather for now looks very small. Now, we'll check the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. That's the uh, Birmingham Skycam looking south from the Daniel Building. Uh, things are nice and quiet. Up in northwest Alabama, there's a look at the Fayette County Courthouse. And in Walker County, a look at downtown Jasper coming from the King Building. Got a pretty big trough to the west. And often here in uh, late April, early May, you have to watch those for severe weather. And we will watch the radar carefully today. But again, the uh, severe weather opportunities seem relatively low at this point. Pretty muggy this morning. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. Uh, the warm spot, Alexander City, they've actually got 72. Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, 69. Anniston at 66. We do expect the high back up in the 80s again today. And man, look at the cold air flooding the nation in the backside of that trough. Readings are in the 20s this morning, all the way down into uh, parts of uh, uh, New Mexico. And of course, in advance of the uh, front, it's pretty mild here. And we will see uh, uh, some cooler air dropping in here tomorrow. In fact, we might uh, uh, see a high only in the mid-60s tomorrow. So big cool down coming up. The big issue with the uh, clash of the air masses this morning is flash flooding. Flash flood watches up for much of Arkansas, uh, western Tennessee, and some of the adjacent states, the, the counties with the dot in them, those are counties under flash flood warnings. And there's the radar coming out of Memphis this morning at 512, and you can see just a big mass of rain over much of uh, western Tennessee. And uh, again, the ground, of course, is saturated there, and almost all the counties where the rain is falling, they are under uh, flash flood warnings. All right, the good news, there is no formal severe weather risk today. Uh, briefly, the guys at SPC did put a, a little slight risk up for a sliver of uh, Alabama and Mississippi. They have taken that down. Now just the low-end 5% probabilities for today and tonight. Uh, so we'll watch uh, the storms, but again, the wind fields are marginal. The, uh, you know, there's no helicity, no veering of the winds. So uh, after the hit we took last week, we don't want anybody you know, overly concerned about additional severe weather today. It will happen one day, but I don't think it's going to happen today. Then tomorrow, there is a slight risk well to the northeast of the state, uh, running through parts of uh, uh, western Virginia, the state of West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, around the Shenandoah Valley. No, no issues here. Again, we'll have rain tomorrow, maybe some thunder, but uh, severe weather not expected. In fact, tomorrow will be much cooler, so it's a stable air mass. Here's the rain for the next five days. Heavier values from near Paris, Texas to upstate New York. The bullseye near Little Rock with almost five inches. And, of course, this counts the rain they had last night uh, beginning at 7 o'clock. Check the modeling, and it's, uh, it's a big battle. We've got this warm 588 ridge, a summer-like uh, feature over uh, Florida and Georgia and the big trough out west. What that ridge is going to do is kind of uh, knock down the intensity of the incoming system, shunt the core of the energy north and east of here. Uh, down below that, there's the surface chart, well-defined polar high over the Dakotas and the warm air over Florida. In between that, you've got showers and storms today. And really, the, the most widespread rain today will clearly be to the north and west of the state. Much of the day today should be dry. Having said that, we will mention some chance of a shower or storm this afternoon. The uh, better chance of rain will be uh, tonight and tomorrow. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Uh, some of the models are actually suggesting tomorrow we're going to see falling temperatures. There's a graphic tomorrow. Uh, we could start the day in the mid-60s and wind up in the 50s by tomorrow afternoon with rain falling most all day. So it's going to be a different kind of day. But, again, for, for those uh, tornado areas of our state that, uh, you know, were, were either – rushing to get the tarps on roofs of the structures that are still standing. Just be aware that this looks like a good rain, uh, maybe one half to one inch. The bulk of the rain will be tonight and tomorrow, and it could rain much of the day tomorrow, and it will be turning noticeably cooler. Again, we'll be up there in the mid-80s today, but tomorrow, uh, a reasonable chance we see falling temperatures. And then Wednesday uh, will be a beautiful day. It will be uh, sunny and uh, pleasant. 
Uh, We'll start the day down in the low 40s, wind up in the upper 60s, and Thursday looks good. We start to warm up, highs up in the 70s, and Friday we'll be back to 80 again. Uh, Cool snaps do not last long this time of the year. What about the weekend, you ask? Well, there's Saturday. Looks warm and dry. Low to mid-80s, and uh, quite frankly, Sunday, uh, you know, there could be a few showers around, but it's a dying front, little upper ear support, rain, probably light and spotty. We will mention, though, a chance of showers on Sunday. We'll go to next week on Monday, week from today, and uh, you can see there's a ridging just off to the west, and clearly with an upper ear pattern like that, we're not going to see a lot of rain. looks like a warm front's trying to lift north, and again, there could be a shower, but it doesn't look like a big deal. End of the forecast, May 17th, trough well to the west, light winds aloft here, kind of moist and maybe showery if this is right. But again, the good news, clearly there is no major severe weather threat showing up on global modeling here for the next 15 days. That's it for the weather extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.